Hello friends, in this video we'll show you how to create an easy rotation slideshow in After Effects. First open the composition and adjust the settings. After entering the composition name click OK. We've already downloaded videos so we'll import them. Then create a new composition. Set the composition size to 300 and name it Video 1. Then let's draw a rectangle shape. Turn off the stroke color and turn on the fill color. Then open the rectangle settings. Set the size value to 280 and the rounded value to 22. Align the rectangle to the composition. Now drag first video to the workspace. Set the track mat to the shape layer. If you don't see this, you can turn it on and off using the toggle switches and modes. Now scale the video and adjust its value to the rectangle. Now copy from the shape layer. Let's rename it and write stroke. Turn off the fill color and turn on the stroke color. Set the stroke value to 1. Open Stroke Layer I and add the glow effect from the effects panel. Set the glow radius to 20. Now let's go back to the project panel and copy 5 video compositions. Now open the Video 2 composition. With the video layer in the workspace selected hold down the Alt key and drag the desired video onto the video layer. This will replace the video in the workspace. Set the remaining videos the same way. Now let's return to the first composition. Open the title action safe and draw an ellipse. You can draw a perfect ellipse from the exact center by pressing Ctrl Shift Alt shortcut. Let's slightly increase the stroke value. Let's lock the ellipse and close the title action safe. Now let's add a null object. Align the null object to the center. Then drag all the video compositions to the workspace. Align the video 1 composition to the edge of the ellipse. Then make the video 1 composition the parent of the null object. Let's enable rotation for the null object. I have 5 videos here so since the rotation cycle for one video is 360 degrees, the rotation cycle for that video should be 72 degrees. So we set the rotation value of the null object to 72. Then after aligning the second video to the edge of the ellipse, we make the video 2 composition the parent of the null object and set the rotation value to 72 plus 72. We set the same for the other videos. Okay, that's done. Now these videos are upside down. If we want these to remain as static as the first video, we need to adjust the rotation settings. So we enable rotation for all video compositions. Here the rotation value of the static video is 72. This means we need to set the rotation values for the other videos to 72. We select all the videos and set their rotation values to 72. Yes, they all remain static now. I don't need this ellipse anymore so let's delete it. Now we enable rotation for all layers and activate their keyframes. We get to the last second and leave the secondary rotation value of the null object constant and set the primary rotation value to 1. If we want the videos to remain static, when the null object rotates we need to rotate the videos in the opposite direction of the null object's rotation. So we set the rotation value of the video layers to minus 1. Now the videos will remain static when the null object rotates. Now let's select all the keyframes and give them easy ease. 
And let's adjust the speed graph like this in the graph editor. Let's activate motion blur and watch. Perfect. That's it for this video friends. If you've watched it to the end, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. You can write your thoughts in the comments. See you in new videos.